What's going on guys? It's uh, Alan Nerdbro here. We're doing a little bit different thing on the channel. Uh, I've really been lately been getting into cooking. Not so much even video games, we're just... We're starting with a little cooking segment. Today we're gonna make a tortilla. You're gonna need two things. You're gonna need... No, bring it up here. Up here. Oh, okay. Come okay. on, man. What am I paying you for? Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're gonna need... Wait a minute. Tort Shouldn't I be paying you something? Can you turn off the camera for a second? And we're gonna be using tortillas and cheese. Fuck. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, so first things first. We gotta open up the cheese. All right. Uh, it looks like it's already been opened, so gotta get rid of that. Um, we'll just start with the tortillas first. A little reveal here. Ah, yummy, yummy. Well, firstly, we gotta... So usually, I travel down to Mexico to make these, and they're a little fresher. These are the store-bought ones. I learned from a, a, a authentic Mexican man by the name of uh, Signore. But see, uh, this is a nice start off to a tortilla, how it looks. You gotta get a little... That's how you can tell like the, the decency of it, and then you gotta... Just to test it, you gotta like... There you go. I think it's a good sized tortilla. Now, now that we have our first two tortillas, we gotta hunt the cheese. Come with me. Hold on. Turn off the camera for a second. All right, welcome back. We're gonna go hunt this cheese now. It's real wily, so gotta be extra careful. It's fresh, all right. All right. Now that we have our cheese, we go over to our tortillas. And um, this is really up to your discretion. Um, you can add a little or a lot. And it's kind of like, um, you choose what you feel is right. And um, well, there you have it. That is the first part of our tortilla. And now, this is the really tricky part because um, a lot of people don't know how to do it. It's called the flip. Um, and it's much like when you flip over an egg, you gotta flip the tortilla. That way you land it on its good side. All right, uh, this will, this is a pretty difficult technique. So you can grab it with both hands and you just... Perfect every time. All right, so we've got our quesadilla now. And usually you put this in a traditional um, Pueblo style uh, uh, oven. But we have a microwave today and that's our best bet. So you just stick that right in there. You don't want to put any plates on it. That really messes up everything. Um, again, I don't really know how long this is going to take. So we're just, um, oh, that's not what we want at all. And let's go with, um, perfect. And in little to no time at all, we will have a perfect, perfect quesadilla. All right? And we're almost done, and we just gotta check it out. That can happen sometimes. You just gotta, you gotta put it back in, and you'll just put it in for another 70, and just in no time, perfect quesadilla. Hi, are you? Good, how are you? Doing good, order when you're ready. All right, I will take uh, one quesadilla, and then can I also get the wild naked chicken chalupa box, please? Like the combo? All right, so we put it in for another 70, just to make sure we got all the bugs out. And uh, wow, look at that. It's um, it's one perfect, quesad one perfect quesadilla. Make sure you uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Um, thanks for watching, and I'm gonna enjoy this Tasty, tasty morsel.